I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come. And I'm gonna remain a soldier till the war is won. Fun. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Back at it again with another view. This time we're looking at the Mezco 112 Collective Spider-Man Far From Home. And I know that I haven't been posting videos for a really long time, but this figure calls for a review. I have been waiting for this figure to come out for a really long time, and I wasn't expecting it to come out so fast. I thought it was going to come out in April, and it looks like it came out early. I really wish luck to a lot of people who didn't pre-order because I feel like this is going to be one of the most sought after figures. Mezco really knocked it out of the park with this one, especially with the suit and the head sculpt, the Peter Parker head sculpt, Tom Holland. So right now I'm going to get into the video and show you all his accessories, articulation, box and all that stuff. First things first, let's take a look at the box. I just usually skip the box part, but this box is exceptional. I really like the picture on the box. It's a little smaller like a lot of the other Mezco exclusives. It has a Spider-Man Far From Home logo on here. And that's pretty much it. Now looking at the figure, this is really something, nothing short of amazing. Uh, the details on this are just spot on. Everything about this from the suit to the head sculpt, to the coloring of the red and the black, everything just looks really spot on. I'm gonna have to compare this to the other Mezco uh, Peter Parker head sculpt that came with the homemade suit. And I was wondering if there were any differences when I took it out, and for those of you who have it, there are some differences. You can see right there, this face has a little more shading. It's a little more detailed than the one on the left, which is new. Still has a little curls, but it looks like it's a little shorter, this hair, than this one. This one looks a little longer. So this one I'm gonna have to say is more detailed than this one, but this is by far not a bad head sculpt. This is really nice. You know, they got the, the skin tone down, the hair, flat brown. Everything looks good. And out of the box, he comes with his Spider-Man head sculpt, but I'm gonna leave the Peter Parker head on. But he comes with three heads comes with a regular head with the eyes open. Another head with the eyes slightly dilated. And then he's doing a full on squint. And just to show you how easy it is to pop these heads off, throw on a ball peg, pop it on just like that. And I guess I can leave this on for the rest of the review instead of the Peter Parker one. And then he comes with a lot of hands, obviously. Comes with his two flip hands, really detailed sculpted webs. Really nice. Comes with two open hands. And he comes with two web gripping hands. And then one thing I forgot to mention, he comes with Edith. And they go on them pretty well. It holds pretty good on there. They don't fall off or anything. They look a little goofy, but it's cool to have as a detail as he uh, does wear these in the movie quite a bit in the beginning of the movie before he passes them on to Mysterio. Another cool thing that he comes with is a display stand, the Spider-Man Far From Home logo on, a cool stand, which is basic for every Mezco figure. It comes with three web effects. One of, one of these, a big web, which is pretty cool, sprawled out. And then a web ball, you can probably put this on someone's face, like an enemy or something. Goes on like that. And then he's got two um, web lines, one that's bendable, so you can manipulate it however you want to. And then you have one of these, which is just going out the front. And for this one, it's pretty easy. You change the hands like that. It's on a small ball peg. You put the web over it like that, it goes in. And then you grab the flipping hand and it pegs on it pretty nicely. So 
and he's got that web coming out right there. Looks pretty good. And now that we got all that out of the way, we're gonna take a look at the articulation real quick. Nothing too new. I think this is using the same body as the Spider-Man Homecoming one. No added articulation, so he, his head goes down, up. Looks like he has a little more um, of a stiffness on the neck, so you can't really look down too much, but you can look down a lot with the head, but not the neck. The neck doesn't really move as much. And then his arms go out all the way. He can't put them up, but it might ruin the suit. Goes down. Bicep swivel, double jointed arm. Swivel at the wrist. He's got an ab crunch. It goes down this far, back this far. And his legs can do the splits. Legs can go up, bends at the knees, cut his pivot. No ankle rocker though, but it's good enough. I think this is the same body, but it seems like it has more articulation on the legs because the material right here is a little more flexible than the Spider-Man Homecoming one, the blue and red suit. And I want to also um, really praise Mezco for the details on the suit and on the red and the mask and everything. Everything is sculpted on the head, so you can have all that details right there. The suit's beautiful, I love the black. I love how they did all these lines right here. Looks really detailed, the spider in the back looks great. Very stretchy, it's like mesh material. So I don't think anyone would really worry that much about posing around. I think it's gonna be really easier to have him move around more, especially on the leg part, which is the most important part you're gonna want Spider-Man to do a lot of cool um, tricks in the air and all that stuff. So that's gonna be it for the review, guys. If you are into articulation, you might wanna wait for the Mafex. If you're into the details of the suit and how accurate it looks for the movie, then we can get this one. If you're just gonna get both, then you can get both like me. But I definitely recommend how this suit looks. It looks amazing. It looks just like the movie. And he comes with a lot of great accessories if you can try to find it for a decent price. Peter Parker head looks amazing, so if you need a Tom Holland Peter Parker head, definitely this is the place to be. And he can fit well in with your other Marvel Legends 6 inch scale collection, Mezco. Here he is compared to the Homecoming Spider-Man. But I definitely recommend him. Definitely worth the price for a Spider-Man fan. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Product of the 90s.